So market just opened. Um, this is my, I'm going into my third month of trading. Uh, so far I made just about 550 profit. And let me just show you. So history, that's my, oh sorry, 530, tell a lie, 530 profit. Uh, first, ever first ever dividend received. Happy days. Okay, cool. So let's go here. Um, since last week, uh, last week I did analysis. I sat on the sideline. I didn't really buy much because I wasn't sure whether the market will go down further or not. Anyways, um, Microsoft just earlier before I recorded this, it was in green for the first time. It was in green by four or five pound. Great. Happy days. That would have just covered my uh, cost, foreign exchange cost. But anyways, um, it's good that it came to that point, which means it will go past that point. Let's just have a look at it and do a quick analysis. Okay, what I mean by that. <clears throat> now, what I mean by that is that when I purchased it, that's where my line is, right? Quite high to the top, from the top, you know, close to the uh, peak. I managed to bring it down by, you know, buying regularly when the, when the price was down here. I didn't buy too much because that is an expensive stock and you'd have to throw a lot more money. But I was waiting on the sideline to see if this will drop further. Um, I used, um, I'll show you what I was using, um, Finviz. So I used this to analyze certain uh, technical data. Oh, okay. So let's just check in Microsoft here and let's cut. Let's get some graphs up. So I use this, I uh, used here support line. So you can see your 50 day moving average as well as um, uh, uh, 20 days moving average and 200 days moving average as well as the support line here, the blue line. Now this support line gave me confidence that it's not going to drop below that point. If it does drop below that point, which it nearly did, it had a nearly near uh, a, a, a false breakout, it could have dropped further and I was ready to wait. And because it dropped, was it was drop it dropped below that line i was happy to wait and if you drop further to this support line here which is the 200 day moving average i would have spent more money to buy shares to bring my average down and then that way there's few benefits to that one i'm re reducing my risk factor because by bringing my average down it's more likely to go to green quicker and sooner and two i'll make more profit potentially but i also waited for a signal the two green you can see the two green you can see the indication of it going up now also look at here can you see there at the bottom the bars these bars indicate volume and uh, kind of momentum in a way so you can use this in line with that the candlesticks to figure out where the momentum is heading especially with nvidia news coming out yesterday which was which is going which is now the new king and new leader of the tech market is the is the one not tesla it's no longer the tesla nvidia is the new leader when it comes to rallying so this has caused a rallying effect now go back to my um trading app so oh it just dropped a little bit okay that's fine no problem um, but I, I anticipate that to go past that. I'll be honest with you. I will pull out my money as soon as it reaches uh, 1% above my um, ROI. The reason being that I'll cover my cost and I'll get a little bit of a um, profit from it. And the reason why I'm going to do that, I feel my stock is too high. Now, remember, I'm not holding this for long term. I'm, I'm only doing this for a short term. So, therefore, because where my stock is currently, which is at 3.3% six dollars and the highest it reached was three six right three six zero now is it likely to reach that point it's likely to reach that and go beyond that in, an, in the long run but in the short run i don't know what's going to happen and the market's still in a bearish market it's a lot of volatility which is good and bad but also there's a recession looming in america and so with that said and especially with you know nine you know nearly a thousand pound invested in that particular stock, I do feel that if I can get a lot of profit, I'll take a small victory because this has been a learning curve. Mistake I made was purchasing that stock at the top when it dropped by three percent. I thought it can't drop more because I I was thinking we are still in the bull market. Now, obviously, we quickly went from bull market to bear market. 
Um, but the bull market, I should have known, I should have predicted this coming to an end. Looking back, I now know. Going forward, I now know how to handle this better. So this was a learning curve. I'll take a little victory uh, parade and um, pull out my money without losing my money, essentially. Um, another thing I've learned this week is this. Classic example, Rio Tinto. This is the UK stock I purchased, right? And since I purchased it, it went down. Ever since then, I've been trying to bring my average down by purchasing more and more, which I have. One point was here. But I managed to bring that down from there to here. I'm quite happy with that. I think it's quite safe where it is. If you look at three-month uh, graph, it's not it's not bad. It's likely to go, you know, make, make a decent profit. So I realized that this stock is exactly the same as that stock here in America, basically. It's literally it's parallel, basically, right? The, you know the movements are pretty much the same even the uh, even the uh, uh, volumes and momentums are all pretty much the same so i realized why buy more of that stock the uk stock where it's much harder to bring your average down right to the baseline or the current low price whereas i can purchase the same stock in american stock market where the mark where the where the but where the where the price is currently very low and certainly it's three months low or well, close to three months low at one point where it was here when i purchased it and by doing that i'm more likely to make a greater profit and a quicker profit if it goes up than my other stock so here's a classic example as you can see i'm up by one percent i'm making a profit now side by side you can see rio tinto the uk stock is still down it's, t it's going to take me longer time to make some profit on that, whereas the other one, American one, is bringing me a profit. Now, this takes me to a new strategy. Going forward, things like, say, um, things like, uh, oh, SPGI. Same with SPGI and Microsoft, by the way. Both the stocks I don't feel confident about because when I purchased it, it was too high, as well as Apple as well and Samsung. With those three stocks, I'm very keen on pulling my money out quicker and sooner so what i was trying to say is shell so shell if you look at the shell stock right now i used some technical analysis for that i used um so let's go here this is the shell so shell as you can see i used technical analysis to figure predict if it was going to go to touch if it was going to touch the baseline the support line or have a bounce i looked at these figures and i predicted that it will bounce because it's already went past the um uh, two support line the 20 days and 50 days moving average so i felt that it could go further down but it has had previously many false bounces as you can see many false bounces and i felt that there's a narrowing wedge here so then there's a little room for it to move however i used this graph i used this uh, trading is i think this is called trading view app or website so what i've done here is i used the last highest point which was here and it's dropped but it was here right when i purchased it and if you went up i would have made about four and a half percent profit if we went down to the last support line which is here I would have lost um, about I think it's about it was about one and a half percent so I'm risking one and a half percent for four and a half percent return on investment so far let's go back to that stock and based on that sort of analysis it has it is giving me a so far 0 0.63 profit so I'll take that profit all day long uh, it's quite and, and that tact strategy is working, is proving. This is a swing trading strategy I'm implementing, and I think I'll continue impl implementing those uh, strategies. Now, I'm in the future, I might open a separate trading 212 account so that I can uh, do two things in during the bear market. During the bear market, if my position of a stock is quite high, where it's very risky and it could, there's a high risk of me losing my money, I will look to average out my price so that it's closer to the bottom line where it's safe. So this is a classic example. Um, SPGI, when I purchased it was here because it had a sudden drop, but I should have known stock like this for it to take it such a massive drop simultaneously with other stocks like Apple and uh, Microsoft and other big boys. It's a 
indication of a bear market movement, right? Or a bear trend. Obviously, I learned that now. So it's a sharp drop as well. Anyway, another another thing, and there's a gap as well. So if I say gap, when I say gap, I'm I'm talking about this. This is a, a indicator. See that gap here between there to here. This is an indicator. It's going to continue to fall further. So another, another thing I learned. Also, if it goes up like this from here to there, it's 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 very likely they will go up further and then it will drop basically. So there's another indicator there. So all these are learning curves. Now, what I was saying to you earlier is that. Um, what I will do going forward, if I feel my position is vulnerable, I will average them down, which I did in this case, to a safe zone. I feel this is safe where it is. And the reason why where, uh, I'm, it's just above, I mean, here is the all year, uh, all, um, the, the year height, right? It's very close to, pre well, forget that anyway. So, but where it is, where my position is now, it's just below also just above the <clears throat> previous high point which is here so i feel it's, it's like to go past that is safe zone but going forward um once i get that position my position to a safe zone i will look to invest into stocks where i feel the stock um the return is greater like starbuck for example so st starbuck what it's doing here as you can see it's low it's going down so i'm <clears throat> purchased it here I did my math uh, calculation. If it goes here, I make, I think it's about 7% return on investment, which is where it's likely to head back to, but it could go further down. If it goes further down, I'll wait and I'll buy more, and then I'll look to make a nice profit on that one. Starbuck is a good stock. It's a solid stock. Um, it does provide dividend, so I can mitigate my loss uh, using my dividend if need be. As it stands, which is 0 0.58, percent loss i will mitigate that because of my dividend uh, payout um and yeah so i'll do another video on uh, analysis like how i use fundamental analysis to make decisions anyways so what i'm doing what i've uh, what i'm doing now i'm buying stocks where i feel i can get a greater profit like seven eight percent profit during the bear market like shell like starbuck like um like this particular stock uh, which was in profit last week by two percent actually so things like that are proving profitable target is going down further um because of consumer market consumer discretionary product this is so that's fine i probably will buy more shares i'm comfortable with it because look where my position is almost all to, um one time it was all year low but then it's gone down further here and it's going down further now i'll probably buy a bit more and i'll hold because once that market rallies uh, in the consumer market it will go up by the way i sold my nvidia i made profit on it i think it was about five percent profit now you might say i should have held and i would have made 10 12 percent profit in total the truth is everything you know you, you we don't trade stock market is not based on hindsight it's based on right there right now your analysis because here's the thing if nvidia reported poor rate of uh, just about like it, it, it's um, beat wasn't as good or just 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 average or just good or below its beat do you know that stock would have plummeted and it would have got the, the whole market would have gone into bear overnight literally so on hindsight i did the right thing by taking my profit uh, at five percent um in a bear market i think that's great to be honest with you and that's five percent within uh three weeks or three or four weeks whatever it was i think it was three weeks so you know happy days so thermo fisher was down again that's another one i purchased because it had a sharp drop uh let's have a look at it yeah as you can see it plummeted from the top to here and it's likely to go up it's a solid stock overall the position is good i analyzed it over a period of a year it reached it passed my current mark many many times so i'm comfortable and i mean if i wait up to here i'll make a nice little return on it which i may do so positions like that one and same with target i'll hold because i don't mind holding for longer purely because the profit margin is greater tyson is another stock that i purchased which was purely because it was below its way below its average by its seven eight percent so that gives me an indication that i'm easy i'm very likely to make a profit like as you can see as well as that 
I bought this share as an awesome experiment and so far based on my new strategy and tactic this one and it's working so what I did today I actually did something else I purchased <coughs> anyways so I purchased more of that share so I was up by two three percent and then I decided to buy more shares even though it's going down now more shares uh, one more share sorry to take my total to nearly 100 um, because it's on a upward momentum as you can see now if it reaches up to here or there anywhere here I'll get a greater return now because it's on a turning point as you can see here there's a turning point that turning point is pivotal for me that is an indication of a moving up and I'll risk another and more money for a greater return so yes I bought it at a higher rate but the the, the, the risk was less because of uh, the momentum going upward basically whereas when it goes down 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 you know you are playing you know um, against the devil I mean you know devil's advocate you're playing essentially and you know you you know it, it could backfire unless you know what you are doing or you can implement and deploy strategies to mitigate losses potential losses or risks and etc so I've talked about different strategies of um, mitigating uh, potential losses and uh, uh, deploying different strategies to handle different movements different market different uh, positions and uh, um, yeah so I think that's where I'll leave it today on this one um, so I'll, I'll, I'll watch the uh, idea AMD was up actually earlier it just dropped it was up in green so yeah market is this is what it does market goes up and down constantly it's the nature of the market and if you want to make money then this is what you got to do you got to be yeah I was up here and you see as you see earlier he went into green but I'm happy with the position as you can see I'm happy with the position um, <clears throat> it's quite high but I'm still quite happy with the position I think I'm confident I'll get a nice return on it so I'll hold that position um, it is what it is this is how stock market works and uh, more I more I play with stock market more I understand it and more I'm becoming in tune with it the aim and objective for me is to become in tune with stock market going forward because I see that as a way of making um, income uh, going forward and I think it can provide a decent income uh, on its own actually going forward so yeah uh, here's an example you know another uh, these ETF halal ETFs I purchased uh, as also similarly because they were low and they were rallying up so if they are rallying up the market is rallying up I think I, I'll get a nice return again I used technical analysis to work out the possible profit range so from here to there from here to here there was about 5% profit range I'll happily take that um, but again these are experimental and one uh, essentially so far it's a learning curve or the whole process good thing is that I'm, I'm yeah I'm playing with a lot of money here but that money I'm playing with is yeah it's teaching me valuable lessons going forward but I'm not losing money and that's the main thing anyway take care for now uh, any other things I come across or whatnot changes whatnot I'll I'll update you all